Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Taurus, this is going to be for you. And I'm using the chakra card. So, um, yeah. We're going to use those, you know. Uh, chakras are more important than people know. And um, they help, uh, they actually affect the way we do things, you know. Such as speaking or seeing or sensing things. So let's see what we get for you, Taurus. For Taurus. King of Swords. Ooh, somebody's being a boss, a leader. Maybe someone is actually... Um, going to be working on their own. Princess of Cups. Opening up that heart to love. King of Wands. This is all you. Um, family oriented. I feel like you may be doing your own thing or you may be a boss type or you may be doing your own thing. You know, you've opened up your own business or such. Um, you're, you know, you you are opening your heart. I feel like you're opening it up now with this Princess of Cups. Um, to to it feels like okay, the King of Wands can be about family, can be about. Um, oh, see, this feels like more than just business. This feels like opening up your heart to family, opening up your heart not just to love, but to more. We've got the Queen of Swords here. Um, I feel like that is you as well. Yes, I do. I feel like you are, you know, you are removing things from your life that do not matter. But you're doing it in a way um, where you're using thought. You're using your, you know, intellect. You're not just whacking away energies. Tell us more. So you're taking, um, it's like you're taking notice of what's in your life and, yeah the tower. Uh, you are actually letting things go that do not belong, that do not serve you, do not um, aren't fulfilling, things that take but do not yield, things that uh, only um, cause havoc, wreak havoc on your life. You're taking an inventory of your life and what is in it, what's affecting it, what's good for it, you know, what does this person do. Three of Cups. What makes you happy? What doesn't make you happy? You know, with that Three of Cups, I feel like um, happiness is a priority now. And um, with the Tower, you're cutting out a lot. You know, coming after the Queen of Swords, you're cutting out a lot that doesn't make you happy. And it's got to go. Knight of Cups, you're giving love where you want to give it. You're not uh, just handing it out willy-nilly. Um, but also with the Nine of Cups here, it's like you have a lot to love, a lot of love to give. But you want wish fulfillment. You want to give it to the right one. You're not just jumping the gun. You're not just going to um, overload someone with it and, and you know, throw away and, and if they don't want you. You see what I'm saying? You're being very cautious. Okay, can we have one of these? You're being cautious. You're not throwing, um, oh my goodness, what's that saying? See, you're releasing what does not serve you. That's why that Queen of Swords is there. That's why that tower is there. Woo! Recovery. You may have had some illness and you're having to recover from that. Um, or you are recovering from you know, a loss of sorts. Any more of these, Spirit? Okay. This looks good, though, because it's you taking control of your life back. You're not allowing anyone to do that for you. You're doing it. You know, we have purple here. Purple is actually the brow chakra, um, you know, and that is about being able to... Um, to see without sight. Learning to see what you don't see with your eyes. Do you see what I'm saying? Using your intuition. Feeling into it. Uh, just knowing something. You know that, that moment when you just know something. Learning to trust yourself. Trust what you feel. Okay, then we have, um, like I said, we've got green. Now green. Green is the heart chakra. You know, 
And, you know, that is about discovering the wisdom of the heart. You know, love lies in the heart. Um, you know, and you may need to open up your heart further in order for you to really be able to give to someone or give this love that you have and to receive this love that you desire with that Nine of Cups. So, um, and then we have, oh my goodness, let's see. We've got yellow here. Now yellow, um, that is actually the solar plexus chakra. And that is about exploring your thought process. What are your thoughts telling you? Where are they taking you when you allow them? Do you see what I'm saying? What are you thinking about? You need to explore that. Really look at it. Um, and then we have blue here. And blue is actually the throat chakra. You know, this knight has this cup, but can this knight speak what this knight wants to do with this cup? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, opening up that throat chakra is very important. You know, blue with the throat chakra is about finding your own way of expressing yourself. How are you going to express yourself? If you don't express yourself through words, how are you going to do it? You see what I'm saying? Finding your own way of expressing yourself. And then we have here orange. And orange is the sacral chakra. And orange is let your intuition be your guide. Trust in your intuition. Trust in that gut feeling. Trust in that little, little tingle you get. That little feel and you just know something. But you have to trust yourself. Now, we have release, which is in the brownish color. That is the um, crown chakra. Um, uh, you know, it could be neutral, neutral color, brown color, whichever. But that's about embracing the spirit, the spirit of universal consciousness. Letting yourself be open to receiving messages from a higher power, from God, from the angels, from the universe. And allowing allowing these messages to come to you um, that's very important so this is what I have for you thank you so much for being here with me if you like the content give it a thumbs up please do subscribe if you don't like it just give it a thumbs down and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you much light and love till next time bye